It's Monday, February 12th, 2024. I'm Jemiah. And I'm Haley. And the Wolf View begins now. White no baby! Sign-ups are happening now for the WKHS Relay for Life team. We raise money and awareness for the American Cancer Society, and we, wa and we walk to help fight cancer. The event is Friday night, May 3rd, from 6 to 11 p.m. To join the team, see Ms. Hobbs in room 219. There is a $5 re registration fee that goes towards the team fundraising. The National Honor Society is doing a canned food drive for SCA Place for the month of February. Every five cans donated equal one hour of community service. All proceeds will benefit SEA, SEA Place, a youth leadership program that offers support, education, and advisement to empower our community. All cans should be brought to room 141. FCA meets each Tuesday morning in the small gym from 7.30 to 8.30. You can show up at any time between these times for open gym, breakfast, and so much more. We hope to see you there. Everyone is welcome. Just a reminder that if you are struggling with math, there is free tutoring available in the counseling office on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 7.30 to 8.30 in the morning, and after school until 5. And now it's time for sports. On the schedule for this week, on Wednesday, JV Baseball is at Erno at 5 o'clock and 7 o'clock. On Thursday, the varsity baseball team is at home against Gilbert at 5.30. If you've ever watched the Wolf View and wondered, who makes this thing and how do I get to do it? The answer is to take multimedia publications. Here's some more information about what the class really is. Hi, I'm Mrs. Cox and I teach multimedia publications. And multimedia publications is an English elective, elective, it does not cover English 1, 2, 3, or 4. Sorry, but uh, it is an elective course and it is like our primary job is we create the Wolf View. This thing that you're watching right now, my class does it. My students are interviewing me right now for an assignment for their class. So that's, uh, that's a big part of what we do. We learn how to create content, how to produce the Wolf View itself, make videos, all of that business, how to interview people. There is also a media literacy education component, which is really important to me because it just is. So we have that like one day a week and then the rest of the time is focused on making videos, having fun, where you can record skits. You can interview people, do segments about stuff going on around the school. You have opportunities to be creative. There's all kinds of great ways to like do cool stuff in here and get grades for it. I do the Wolf View. Uh, we do skits and like segments. It helps you learn a lot of recording skills, so if you want to do things like social media, like YouTube, Instagram, things like vlogging, um, it helps you be creative while also being entertaining. If you wanted to be like a news reporter, it would also help you with that or other things for careers in the future. To spend my time during school making projects, little skits for the Wolf View. I learned how to edit through the class and I use it practically every day with what I'm going to be wanting to do with my career. It's very helpful to know how to edit. So if you have any interest in any of this, you know, things like getting grades for doing fun stuff, making skits, videos, interviewing people, walking around the school, talking to people with a purpose, then you should sign up for multimedia publications. Like if you are an extroverted kind of person and you're interested in learning anything about making videos, please sign up for the course. I would love to have you. Um, on board with all personalities as long as you're willing to do the work. So multimedia publications, look for it, sign up for it, ask your guidance counselor if you can sign up for it if you haven't already. And now it's time for our Black History Month segment in which we recognize influential Black South Carolinians and their accomplishments. Viola Davis is an American actress and producer. Davis is one of the few performers who have been awarded an Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar, and a Tony. She is the sole black actress to achieve the triple crown of acting as well as the third person to achieve those statuses. Time named her one of 
the 100 most influential people in the world in 2012 and 2017 and in 2020 with the New York Times ranked her ninth on its list of the greatest actors of the 21st century. Her film breakthrough came with her role in the drama Dow 2008 for which she received her first Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress. Clayton Pegleg Bates was born in Fountain Inn, South Carolina. Bates lost his leg at the age of 12 in a cotton gin accident. He taught himself to tap dance with a wooden peg leg and became a well-known dancer, appearing on the Ed Sullivan Show 58 times and even performed for English royalty in 1936. Later in life, he and his wife were the first black resort owners in Catsville. James Brown was born in Barnwell, SC. Recording artist James Brown was one of the founding fathers of funk and was an icon of the 20th century pop music and dance. That's the Wolfie for today. Have a great day and go Teals!